going on YouTube? This is Wi-Fi Memory here today. Bring you guys some love for Braviary. Uh, Braviary, I think, will get a lot of usage once um, the new rules come out in September. So I just kind of wanted to showcase how good he is right now in the current meta. Because no one's really talking about him. And I think you guys should. He really does a great job. And I don't know if it's me, but I think he might be even a better Talonflame. Uh, we'll just have to see how these uh, battles go and see maybe what you guys think about him as well because he puts on a lot of support with Max uh, Airstream. He has Defiant, so if they try and lower his stats with like Max Strike from a Porygon Z, which you know will be in the meta once uh, September comes. And then um, other Pokemons that also can kind of do stuff, you know, I mean... And, I mean, he counters Intimidate. I know Intimidate's getting a little bit of a nerf, but still. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good overall. Uh, right here, my opponent's going to be Dynamaxing uh, his Porygon Z. Which is pretty much kind of what I wanted to see. I kind of wanted to see if Braviary could take a max strike from a Porygon Z. So, um, yeah, these battles are somewhat... Me testing Braviary out, trying to figure out. This is the team I'm going to be using at the very start of the new series. So I was just thought, maybe I'll give it a shot and uh, see how well it does right now in the current meta. Um, and believe me, it's pretty good. I like it so far. Anyway, right here. I was going to go for Ice Punch with my Darmanitan against that Togekiss. Togekiss goes for Protect. And here lately, I've seen a lot more Togekisses for Protect than what I would like to see. <clears throat> Porygon Z goes for Max Strike. If you look, it's a critical hit. We're still able to survive a critical hit. Granted, I don't necessarily know the EVs on this Porygon Z and all that. But that has to say something. that Hey, we're able to take... Max strike from Porygon Z pretty well. Because, I mean, we survive in a critical hit. Yeah, we could probably... Braviary is pretty bulky. And then, as you see, we uh, got you know, a lot of big damage off right here. All right, so... My opponent switches out into Torco. And pretty much right here, I just wanted Darmanitan to get some damage off on the uh, Togekiss. I really didn't want to take a... Um, max strike from that Porygon or anything. I just kind of wanted to see what's going on. And uh, Porygon goes for max strike on my uh, Braviary. Thank goodness. Right here, we turn our focus onto uh, that Porygon Z with our Darmanitan hand and just finish that one off. And then uh, Braviary is going to go for a max airstream and um, get the KO on the Torgo. At this point, Braviary is a plus... I think it's actually a plus two on its... Um, Thanks to its Defiant ability. So it, it's hitting like a truck right now. Uh, Torco goes down. And that's pretty much all she wrote for this battle. Because my opponent just goes ahead and rage quits right here. Any minute now. There it is. Yeah. He goes ahead and rage quits. So um, what I like about that is um, I just kind of wanted to showcase necessarily how strong of a lead that really can be both pokemon are going to be able to come back in september so i just kind of wanted to showcase it off a little bit because our manitan makes a really good lead but so does uh dracovish norlax can even lead with this team if you look at this feral point it's actually a uh, choice uh choice band so it's actually gonna hit like a truck as well but right here in this one we're gonna be um going up against Lando. He's got that Blastoids, Incineroar, Rillaboom, Dusclops, and Didi, and Dragalge. Uh, let's see exactly what he brings, you know? Let's see how he counters this team. This is why I like uh, Braviary over uh, Talonflame anyway. I know uh, Ndidi's not going to be in the um, picture once uh, September comes around, but if you just wanted to play with Braviary right now and switch Talonflame onto this team, you're more than welcome to in September, you know? I mean, when September comes, just put Talonflame right here. I don't think Talonflame's going to be as bulky, though. But, 
if you just needed something more faster and stuff, you know, get that priority Brave Birds off. But this is one of the big reasons why I went for uh, Brave Yari is at the current time, Ndidi is running the meta. And uh, if I had Talonflame, I could Dynamax my Talonflame right here. I go for Max Airstream, well, guess what? Psychic Terrain says you can't do that. So that's just something that um, I feel like um, Talonflame's ability right now in the current meta is getting beaten by this in by Ndidi. Ndidi just out just outdoes it. But anyway, we we don't have Talonflame. We have Braviary. And right here we went ahead and went for a huge U-turn onto this Ndidi. Switching into my Snorlax, knowing that this Dusclops wanting to go for a Trick Room. The reason I knew that is that the uh, Ndidi went for Follow Me. And right here, I have Dragovish, and then I have uh, Snorlax in the back. I go into Snorlax because I know he's going to go for Trick Room. I know I'm going to go for Max, Max Knuckle to get my attack race. So, one of those two Pokemon are going to really love coming in. Both of them really love coming in when, when Braviary is going for Max Knuckle. So right here, my opponent does set up the Trick Room. But, why I'm, I mean, I'm, I shouldn't even be worried. I have Snorlax on the field. Snorlax is going to hit this thing like a truck. You know, I got two frets right now in the field, and he has a Dusclops and a Dragalge. Dragalge is not even set up yet, so I'm not even looking at Dragalge as a huge fret. I do see that he's going to be Dynamaxing it. I kind of predict that he's going to go for like a Bulldoze or something. So, yes, now Dragalge would be considered a threat. But even then, this shows you how um, bulky uh, Braviary is. Because, okay, so he activates his weakness policy. Then he goes for uh, Max Lightning here onto uh, my Braviary. Oh, my bad. Okay, so first we go for high horsepower. And then Dragalge goes for uh, Max Lightning on um, the Braviary. Again, we take it pretty nicely. So Braviary has a really good um, special defense anyway for a flying type. Has a nice HP and everything. So, I mean, it's a really good Pokemon overall. And this one's actually a little bit bulky anyway. So, it's very nice because we're, as you can see, we're getting boost almost every time with this Braviary. And we're able to knock out the Dragalge. And at this point, it's pretty much all she wrote for this game as well. My opponent doesn't rage quit on this one, sadly, in a way. <laughs> he uh, actually sends out his Incineroar, sees that um, his Braviary has Defiant, which just pretty much means GG at this point because uh, he goes ahead and it, he, he knows. So he runs and he knows he ain't going to win this one. Braviary is just stacking up too much, too much damage. Anyway, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, let me know in the comments down below. This is Wi-Fi Merriman signing out, and peace.